Hello guys, we just arrived in Vienna. Finally, it's my second time here and I loved it so, so much. It's one of my very favorite cities. We are only gonna be staying one night, same as last time. It's a really short trip, we came by car. We sadly don't have any more time, but we wanted to do something over the weekend. I love it here so much, and there's actually a purpose why we came back here so quickly again, because one of my favorite Japanese artists is having an exhibition here. He is called Yoshimoto Nara, and I just love his artwork so much. I've always had it on my Pinterest board. So we just arrived at our hotel, and we're gonna be checking in. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. not even a, like for just a day and a half trip day and a half trip and five full bags full of outfits and i'm just always so indecisive and since we came by car i knew that i could bring a lot of stuff and it wouldn't be an issue so that got me to kind of overpack a little bit um and also i was really determined to pack yesterday but then i was out with friends drinking and i came back home and i was so tired i fell asleep and so I had to like rush this morning. So people might think you forget things when you rush to pack or like you pack less than you need, but I just like threw everything in without thinking about it. But yeah, um, this hotel I'm always super satisfied with. It's just a Motel One, but it's one of my favorite hotel chains. It's cheap, but it's really like high quality. It's clean and I just like the vibe here a lot. So I'm really happy to see our room, but we won't be spending a lot of time in it anyway. Very first floor, so we have to keep the curtains closed or else anyone would, could just see us naked, which isn't optimal. But this is all my traveling stuff. All of these are from Victoria's Secret, so I think they just, just finally sponsor me. So this was my travel fit. I Yesterday, like, I bought this off-shoulder sweater from H&M which is so cute it has a little like oversized fit which is really cute I bought this uh, black skirt from Subdued I'm just wearing my Mary Janes from and other stories and some random some random leg warmers which I thought were cute it is however quite surprising because it's actually already late October and it's still 23 degrees here in Vienna and also in Germany so it's super hot so this fit as cute as it is it has to go it is too warm I do love this fit I wish I could wear it I feel like it's really nice for like the museum so if I don't like any of the other options I might change back into this We just did a little bit of shopping at Douglas and H&M and I bought this hat that I really wanted. I was shopping in Munich yesterday at H&M and I saw the hat and I regretted so much that I didn't get it so then I got it. I got it in brown and it's so cute. Now we're gonna go to the Albertina Museum where they're gonna be showcasing Yoshimoto Nara which is my favorite artist so I'm so excited we're finally going it's super hot again, it's late October, so I don't understand how it's so hot. We just changed for the third time today because we brought our stuff that we bought at Douglas and H&M to the hotel. 
hotel room and so we thought we could get changed a little bit because I was a little hot on my sweater and I thought this would also be a really cute fit for the museum. I always overpack but then it always is good in the end because I can use it for more Instagram photos as cringe as that sounds. But yeah, I thought I could change my fit a little bit. Here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this blouse that I got in Paris from this Japanese brand called BB. They gifted it to me. It's so, so cute. I feel like this is such an elevated basic because it has like a more interesting neckline. So I'm really excited to wear it. tea that you all know I'm obsessed with and it's like half the price here in Vienna or just in Austria in general it's much more expensive in Germany so I always stock up on that tea when I get here the truth of traveling with a girl we just got to the hotel this is my fourth time changing today we're not gonna stay in the hotel for too long because now we're gonna actually check out the Vivian Westwood store I feel like it's a scam like all the articles or like information I found on the Vivian Westwood store is like older so I'm not sure if they actually still have the store but if they do I'm so excited and it's right in the city center so even if it's not there we're just gonna go shopping or something but I really really hope it's there it would be such a cool experience I think I'm gonna clean my mess now a little bit it just happened so fast especially because I changed so many times throughout the day mess just kind of happened and I'm just gonna clean it now so tomorrow I don't have too much work to do with the cleaning and then we're gonna go out again I'm so excited Our worries were justified. We just went to two locations where it said online that there was going to be Vivian Westwood and it's at neither of them so we just ran around the whole city for nothing. We're just going to go and grab some food at a restaurant that we went to last time we were here as well. It's so unfortunate. It's not that sad. Like it's fine because I kind of had it. Like I kind of assumed that it would be this way but I'm still a little bit disappointed. <laughs> So we're in the official Agatina Museum right now and they have a lot of merchandise from Yosemite Nara that they didn't have yesterday so I'm gonna buy a lot more stuff and they also have like books and other stuff and espresso mugs and stuff like that so I, I really want to get some more things.
got back from Vienna this weekend so the sunday which is already four days ago and i bought a bunch of stuff and really wanted to show you everything i got as you guys saw i got a bunch of tea and literally drank them all already i got like 30 bottles it's actually it's actually an addiction but i went to but i went to the yoshimoto nara exhibition which you guys saw and i got so so much stuff just because one He's been my favorite artist for a really long time. I remember just like saving his pins and thinking it was like a random Instagram artist or something. Um, but when I discovered more about him and kind of like his message and how he like draws the little girl like that's inside of him. And it's just so, it's just, I just really like the vibe of it all. It just feels really carefree to me and like easy to look at and it's not overwhelming for me. It's just, it's really cute and enjoyable. So I got a bunch of stuff from him and I really want to show you guys. <coughs> First thing I got is a poster. And basically, <laughs> I've been wanting to decorate the insides of my closet for a really long time. And I'm already thinking of just like getting a bunch of photos from Pinterest or something, but this just feels more personal. Um, so I kind of want to do a mixture of like maybe posters and then also things I'm just going to be printing out and it's actually his exhibition poster. She looks like this, it's so cute. I love this girl with her little boxing gloves. It's so cute. And it's really small, but this was already quite expensive, I think. No, this was, a, this was actually just four euros, which is fine, I think. Just so cute, and I remember seeing this um, plastered all around Vienna, so I thought this was really cute. Also, I'm sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. <laughs> I also got some post postcards that I think I think they're also just gonna go into my closet. Got this little red girl, and got this little girl, and I got this little girl. So I got these three, which I think are the cutest. <laughs> they're so amazing. She's kind of like freaking me out to be honest. This one's just like Yoshimoto Nara coated, and this so cute. I love her so much. I love a pop of red. Been loving that recently. I also got this it's called Klasichtfolie in German. Um, it's like a see-through thing for like documents or something. And I think I'm just gonna use this for uni or whatever I want to use it for. It's so cute. One thing I'm most excited about, even though I don't even drink espresso, is this tiny espresso mug. It's so cute, but um, I think I'm just gonna put it out for the aesthetic or I don't know. I'm actually, I'm someone, I'm so excited to move out that I'm already buying things that I want to have in my apartment. So whenever I see something where I'm like, okay, this doesn't match my vibe now, but I want this when I move out, I'll just buy it. Because who knows when I'm moving out. So I got this and it says, fuck you. <laughs> it's so it's so cute. You can just do or you could drink like a shot out of this maybe on a girl's night. That would be a sleigh. I got this plain black notebook and we all know it it's just like a girl's thing to have a bunch of notebooks like i don't think there's a single girl who doesn't own way too many notebooks but maybe you could use this as a sketchbook i thought um because i've been wanting to take a little bit better care of my mental health um which maybe sounds so cliche and i know self-care has just been a trend in general but i genuinely mean it that i think i want to take better care of my hobbies and one of my hobbies is sketching i've been always been an art major or whatever it is in high school anything that has to do with art i always did that so i would really like i can see myself going to a museum and just maybe sketching a little bit i feel like that would be fun and my teacher and my art class always had us do that and it was always so much fun especially with friends and I have a few friends who are into art as well, so maybe that would be a good idea. I also got his book. It's called Banana Yoshimoto Hard Boiled Hard Luck. And apparently it's two stories and I'm excited to read it. Yeah, I think it's also something that would probably calm down my mind a lot because I've been having a lot of nightmares recently, which is actually oddly specific, but I've been having so many nightmares of things that I'm like scared of and most of the time it's like me not getting work done or something and I think I'm just really stressed out and I think I'm just really overstimulated all the time so I feel like it would really help for me to 
don't know, just yeah, take better care of my <laughs> Next I got this super random thing. They didn't even have a proper price for this, but it's just like you can just write little notes here. And I thought it would be cute maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can put one in my mom's purse and just tell her, I don't know, take care of yourself or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just random. The thing that I'm most, most, most excited for is this baby. Oh my gosh! I've been looking for, I guess, a decorative book, kind of like this one, or kind of how people get the one from Prada or Chanel. I've been wanting one that I'm genuinely interested in, so I've been hunting. And when I saw that they have this online, like before I ever even went to the exhibition, I knew that they were gonna have this book. I knew I had to get it. And honestly, honestly, I'm kind of getting away from this mentality that I want to buy things just for the looks of it. I kind of want to decorate my room in things that genuinely mean something to me. I don't know if that's cringe. Like, oh my gosh, I want to stop being an influencer. Like, it's not, I know it sounds so pretentious, but for a long time, aesthetic was just like a really important thing to me and it still is. But I feel like I want to put a little bit more meaning behind everything. And so I've been wanting to get this book for a really long time. I'm so glad I got it. And I'm also really hoping to get the one from Vivian West. So cute. So that's everything I got. I did get some things at H&M, but they're just random small stuff. I also got like a lip liner. I also got like, maybe I can show you that. I got this lip liner that I saw on TikTok. It's the one from MAC in the color core. And it's like this really, really, really dark brown. Yeah, you can already see how dark it is. Um, But yeah, I actually really, really like this one. Really, really like this one. So yeah, Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Vienna vlog. Again, I love Vienna so much. I'm gonna be back probably in less than a month or so because I love it so much and it's so close to Munich. Um, And I have the perfect hotel and everything is just like, it's kind of like a, just kind of, I'm so familiar with it now. I wish I had more friends in Vienna. I think then it would be even easier for me to go um, because I can't always go with my mom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping to be back soon. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and see you guys. Bye.